Yes, here we are. Good evening. I don't have any viewers at the moment. <laughs> All right, Friday night. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do? Bad habit, kijk mee. Gezellig. Nadja Nadim. Yes, we here. Let's talk. Um, all right, let's see. We're gonna get Nadia. Hey, everybody. Waiting on Nadia. She's coming in right now. We're gonna do it. Hey! What up, man? Rock Kelly! Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you? Yeah, I'm good. Listen, listen to this, yeah? yeah? yeah. This is my first live ever. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to ask my sister how I'm joining a live video. She's like, no. oh, it's easy to do this. Like, oh, okay. I, th I thought so. Wait, let me put these ones up. Uh, I thought so because I never saw you live. So I was like, hmm, I don't know if you know how it works. Yeah, no, no. It wasn't that complicated. Now I know. Thanks to you. How you been? I miss you, man. Um, yeah, but, um, is, is, it, is the sound double at your. Or uh, your tiny bit. Yeah, I can. I don't no. know what it is. Maybe. No, not anymore. No. Yeah, it's good now. Um, yeah, I miss you too. It's, um, I mean, we were supposed to meet in Paris just before the lockdown. That was, I think, uh, one and a half months ago or a month ago. The, the Olympic Lyon, uh, Paris Saint-Germain Olympic Lyon match. We, we yeah. were supposed to meet together. Um, but yeah, I'm good. I'm here in Amsterdam. And um, I have to say that, um, that this quarantine does give me the, the rest and that, that, that my body and soul definitely need it. So uh, I am taking my time and, uh, but it's been ups and downs to be honest. And with you? Yeah, similar to be honest. Obviously it's really annoying that, you know, we know we haven't been able to play all these great games because we were in a really good position. You know, we had, you know, the, the like biggest game in the, in the season against Lyon. In the league, we had the Champions League against Arsenal. We had the Cup semi-final. So it was a really interesting month for us. But uh, yeah, everything had to put it on a hold. But right now, I'm, as you said, I'm actually looking on this on a positive, uh, you know, situation because I get to spend time with my family, which I haven't done yeah. for a really, really long time, you know. So I guess it's what you made out, make out of it. Yeah. No, definitely. And um, I know also that you have, well, we, we, we talked we talk with each other. I think we, the first time we met was in Budapest um, during the Champions League final. Yeah. And um, it was kind of funny because um, I was doing, uh, for the people who are watching, um, I was hosting um, a panel discussion and Nadia was one of the guests in, in this panel discussion. And um, I remember uh, seeing this on my card. I was like, oh, Nadia Nadim is going to be in the panel. And I was like, oh, okay, she's about to be my best friend. She doesn't know this yet, but yeah. I'm going you know, to make her my friend. <laughs> so, yeah. And here we are. No, seriously, though. Like, seriously. Like, I think we have a like awesome, I don't know, understanding and connection. Even though it's not like we speak all the time, but every time we hang out and we're on the same spots, it just makes sense. So yeah. yeah, it was a good day to meet you and I'm obviously happy to still be friends with you and we're chilling. So yeah, like, cool. like a ding. Like, like a ding. We can do this in Dutch. Uh, Nadia, Nadia. I don't know, bro. That's going to be the tough one. I'm going to be understanding a lot of it. It's just going to be hard with responding in Dutch. Yeah, responding back, yeah. Hey, but um, so we got like 30 minutes and um, I did it, uh, the first talk with one of our other friends, Lisa. Um, and, um, um, yeah, I, I just thought, let's just talk, talk some things through. And I just had some questions. I also had some questions from other, other people in, and maybe we can get some questions from the viewers in because it's Nadia Nadine's first time on Insta live. <laughs> She's, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what's the, what's the thing that you miss the most from, from football? Like what's, what's the thing that you miss the most? The matches, like yeah. the football matches, and of course my friends, my teammates, you know, I really do miss it. It's not that I don't play football. I play football every day, like 
myself, but it's just not the same, you know, the intensity, the matches. So I think that's what I miss the most. And obviously my friends, my teammates, because um, you know this, you know, they're like almost your family and I haven't seen them for almost a month. So now I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can totally understand that. And uh, you just said like you were building up to this big match against Olympic Lyon. It was a big disappointment. But um, like, how how is it to? Because then you have a goal. You're training towards this goal. We have the we have the league. We have Champions League still. And now you don't know what you're training for. So how what does that do with your motivation and your mindset? Oh, good question, Rocky. Good question. That's a really good one. Well, you're killing it. Uh, I think, you know, I, th I think, the, you know, I know it's a really hard phase, but the games are going to come. I'm positive. This is not something that's going to keep going for a long time. I think it's a temporary state. And I know that we're going to reuptake the game. So for me, the motivation is that we're going to be playing Lyon again. Now we're going to be playing in the Champions League again. And I cannot show up and be, I don't know, out of shape, fat, <laughs> I've done anything. Because then I know the situation is going to be super, super hard. Um, so that's my motivation. And plus, I love being in shape. Like, I love, I don't like running. I'm not going to lie. I hate running. But everything else, I enjoy doing, you know. Um, but running, yeah, I have to no, no. push myself. I'm like, oh, no, I get into it. And do you train every day? Like, do you have a, a personal schedule or how does it work? So they send us uh, our strength and coach, Pierre. I love that guy. He always sends us, uh, us programs for each day during the week, whatever. Um, I follow some of these stuff because they're amazing. Other stuff I kind of add up because we live on the countryside. It's amazing. I have so much place. I'm not in contact with anyone. And I've kind of slowly built up my little area with CrossFit stuff. You know, like I don't have stuff, but just like stuff that I find around. Like, oh, this Jerk of tree, I can use this. Higher, <laughs> yeah. let me use it. So, cool. so yeah, I do my own thing, you know, uh, and I try to stay as active as possible. Yeah, uh, but um, for example, what I just said, like, so, so you don't really have problems with motivating yourself. You do have that, like, okay, um, this is just a temporary thing. We'll get past this because I can also imagine you, you train so much it's like every day and it's 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 a it's a it's a, it's a blessing if you've got time for your family yeah um um so i would be that kind of athlete who'll be like hey yo today i'll just you know i'll just be chilling because now I've, i've got the time to do that nobody's checking up on me i think uh again you know i think that there's probably going to be days where i'm not that motivated of training but then there's other stuff that pushes me i think desire yeah. of like want to win being in the position where you can make a difference you know i'm really a competitive person i think that pushes me a lot uh, yeah. but but seriously to be honest i think even when you as you said you train all the time and even if you get tired which i've never been but you don't get tired of football you get maybe tired of being on time to train at this point all the time you know yeah like course. now you kind of build your own trainings and i think i kind of enjoy it you know not gonna lie like i enjoy the freedom of being able to train what i want to and how i want to as long as the result is the same you know me being active for certain hours um so i think yeah i don't see any problem in it yeah okay cool and uh I, i've seen two of your new uh, team um, or not teammates but maybe like your training buddies because it's Messi and Ronaldo uh, I've seen that bro of... seriously yeah. <laughs> I I'm think like I, hanging I think... out with Messi and Ronaldo you know I'm like juggling and Messi's like Ooh. I'm like yeah you saw that I just did it in front of you and then Ronaldo is like Dee. I'm like <laughs> Oh, no, so but can you explain who they are? I mean, maybe like I know, like maybe the the viewers already saw them, but who are these? Uh, the, who are these people? Basically, our as I say, we live on a countryside. Our neighbor has a lot of horses just across of us, and we're really close with them. So I always like it's just across the street. I walk over, and then they have these two horses. The one is a little one, a pony. I don't think the name is Messi. We call them Messi, my family. <laughs> and then the other one is like this big gorgeous Stallion. creature yeah. yeah exactly call him Ronaldo because he's like ripped and he's like always on point so <laughs> so yeah I know man I don't know how the name started but like all the animals if you've seen you know we've na I've named them random names like Gandalf the White you've seen yep 
And yeah. then Tiger Jr. the third, chilling. Hey. No, but we got to talk about this because um, you are one of the biggest animal lovers that I have seen yeah. on Instagram or wherever. You're like that type of woman that just like takes a ham, stick it in her pocket and then walks to the cat and give it to the cat. I mean, uh, almost, what, what, almost. Yeah. Why? Or what, how, how did that? Uh, is that something that you got from home or are you just like animals? To be honest, like, you know, I think we have a, ha a dog and we have a cat and, you know, they're really nice, like, animals to have around. And I feel bad when I see animals, like, maybe haven't had go food or anything. We have this cat, Tiger Julia the Fourth in PSG yeah. that I always feed every morning, like, you know. I just because I don't know if he had the food, you know, so I'm like, why not? There's a lot of food. Let's, let me just give him some chicken, some ham, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I think it's just, I don't know. I'm born so kind, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, you, but you have a kind heart. And you, I guess I mean, so. You, yeah, because, um, I you mean, we it. spoke about, yeah, you know, no, but it's, it's the truth. We spoke about this more, uh, more often. And, um, I mean, you're a professional athlete, um, still in an active career, but you're, you're also the ambassador, the ambassador of UNESCO. Um, you've been traveling around to go to refugee camps, play football, and just to give back to the community. And, um, can you maybe like, explain how that is something that's important for you while you're playing actively as a as a professional football player uh yeah yeah of course i think you know to be honest i don't think it's gonna ever not be important to me i think i'm gonna be doing this all my life um and the reason is that i don't know it's hard for me to see people who are in need people who who you know who suffer or people who don't have a lot of stuff it's hard for me yeah. to see and not do anything about it and i think if you have the opportunity you have the platform and the you know the the stuff well, why not do it um so it kind of comes natural i don't know i just i think i uh, i can sympathize with those those people maybe because i've been like you know experienced life at hardest as well so i can understand that it's not easy yeah well, I, uh, again, I give you a lot of respect for that and credit. Thank because you. You, you know, too. You do a lot of stuff as well, Rocky. Yo, by yeah, but I'm retired. <laughs> no, you know. But one thing, this is so weird because all the people writing right now, you know, it's kind of confusing, you know. I'm like, bro, I can't read and talk to you. That was good. And to all of, everyone who's watching, thanks, guys. I love you guys, too. And I love the fact that so many Afghan flags. I'm like, yeah, representing my people represent yeah no, but that, that's cool i mean it's uh it's cool to, I, I, I it's also confusing for me so i see all of yeah, these I'm like, like, yes, I'm like, what, yeah what? What's, what are they saying <laughs> someone's writing i'm a legend i'm like hell yeah i am thank you you too yeah. how did you <laughs> know lisa freestyle someone oh you that's can, yeah. maybe you can get into that i mean lisa lisa's out one of our friends man i love lisa because she lives in PSG and she's such an awesome down-to-earth person and everyone knows yeah. lisa she's mad famous who doesn't know hey. lisa <laughs> Shout you, out to Lisa. The, you, you can't walk the street with her when we were in Paris because uh, you know I, I have some work in in Paris with, with Nike well you you play for uh, for Paris Saint-Germain and then Lisa of course lives is a yeah. is, is a Parisian girl and um, the first time we I think the first time we all the all three of us linked up was with the quarterfinal match during the World Cup yeah it was true. France against the United States that was a sick game yeah yeah we were all in VIP so that's what we do that's what we do via no that's no i really like it man i've i've there rarely you meet people who are like so down to earth and so nice and so genuine yeah and the same definitely. as you you know that's why i hang out with you guys because yeah no it's cool to to meet up with new people and there's also one girl she's listening she's from sudan um her name oh, is rajan wow. oh wow yeah I, I think i saw her um She's a big fan of you. She's, she sent me a message yesterday like, oh, can you please arrange for me to play with, with Nadia? And I was like, hey, cool, we can make this happen. We make this happen. So uh, Rajan, shout out to you, Sudan. Hello, Sudan. Uh, yeah, and, uh, hey! <laughs> I know, I, I don't speak Arabic. I just know some words. Lashin to hello. I know you speak 11 languages or something. Yeah. So, uh, But we all speak the language of football. So that's... True. Uh, so oh, what? Um, let me give you another question because you've played in Denmark, United States, England, um, now in France. Um, so you know a lot of players. If you would have to pick a five-a-side team with women, 
your all time so you can pick four more uh, team teammates to play a five side uh, game who would you choose to play with okay that's oh that's a really cool one mm -hmm. okay who I would choose okay do you have to choose a keeper as well yeah sure let's do that a keeper as well I'm gonna go with Christiane Endler from PG. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna go with Tobin Heat. Oh, wow, yeah. Bro, she's, I love her. Did, did you ever play does. with her? Or yeah, she ever... Portland, bro. Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take Samantha Kerr because she is fire. Oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I played with her in um, New Jersey. That was three already, damn. That goes fast. So two more. Uh, I'm gonna take um, Katoto. I think she's uh, she's yep. crazy. Do I need to have a defender? I guess. I guess I have. I to think have a so. I, yeah. I need to I have a defender. You... I'm gonna take Iran Paradez. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. And and if you if that that is an all star team. I mean, if you I would I would not. I, I don't want to play against you in that oh, that's fight. That's a dangerous team, I'm not going to lie. That's like a technical, strong, athletic, good-looking... I mean... Good-looking! <laughs> yes. Uh, it's all about the looks with women's football. It's all about... Oh, hell, you should forgot Keats, man. She's going to be there as well. Substitute. Yeah, yeah she's going to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Have to. And, and if you would take uh, five male players, who would you choose? Oh, that's a sick question. So... I'm going to obviously have, I'm, I think I'm going to have De Gea on goal right now because he's, yep. he's really good. Uh, then I'm going to have Virgil, no, Ramos as my defender. Oh, I almost wanted to <laughs> like, okay. I knew you were going to do that. I'm going to say you as my defender. I'm going to have uh, Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to have Slatan and Messi. Slatan and Messi. That's yeah. a hard, that's, you know, I'm just taking like all the strikers and one defender. I don't know why, but I'm like, the best, the best defense is attack, I guess. Exactly. And you're going to score like a million goals. So, I mean, with this. Perfect. With this like, I'm, I'm like, okay, we're behind 4 0. No worries. We're going to score four more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who's yours? Um, I think with a um, uh, women's team, I would be, um, yeah, Marta, of course. That's oh, one of the, the yeah, goat. no, but that's just. You know, the goal. Yeah, I know. Um, I haven't played with her, so I told uh, people I play with. Did you ever? Did you ever play against her? Or? Yeah, many times. She used to play in Orlando. Oh yeah, of course. So I played against her like yeah three years in a row all the time. And is that is is she still somebody? I don't know. I mean, you're a professional athlete. I mean, you know. So um, I don't think necessarily that you're like, oh my god, I'm fangirling. It's it's Marta, but. <laughs> Um, does that happen? If, is there still a player, a female player that you look up to? Or is there anybody that you admire? Or I don't know in what type of... Yeah, definitely. I think, I think her, just the reason is because I think she's such a strong personality. And like, you know, she's won, what, Ballon d'Or five times? Yeah. Because uh, you have to give her the respect, you know? And um, I, she, like, she's still so good. Like, but like stuff that she used to do on, and does on the field. You haven't really seen it so much from other players. So that's why I think, like, someone... You have to respect, respect her. Respect her. Um, so, yeah, definitely her. And also, someone that I think is phenomenal is Formiga. She's 42 years old. Yeah, oh, man. And she, she plays with us, with me. And, you know, I feel so fortunate to see her every day. And I've never met anyone that is... In that age, she, like, she's a machine. Like, I yeah. don't know. I don't even know how to explain this. Like, when we do runs, kills everyone. Like... Seriously, extraordinary. Like, I That's just take my hat off. I'm like, 42 years old and she's just getting... I remember one of my first games against Brazil. She was man-marking me. And yeah. now I am... Every day I'm like, yo, you was, remember you was man-marking me. Now we're playing on the same team. You are crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, you know, but that, that's, that's definitely a lot of respect there. Yeah, yeah. In, um, you know, I have a project in, I, I had a project in Rio and yeah. um, t uh, many of these young girls who are like, uh, when I met them, they were like um, 12, 13, mm -hmm. and now they're like 17, 18. They have like Twitter names or Instagram names with Formiga in it because they're like 
they're big fans of her. So she's like um, not only Marta, but she's such a role model to all of these. Yeah, uh, legend. All of these girls. Yeah, yeah definitely. So yeah, um, no, I would be Marta. I think I would choose Rose Lavelle as I just, I mean, the way she just. Um, I would maybe put um, Daniela van der Donk in there because I gotta take one of these orange uh, orange ladies uh, in there. Um, I'm a big fan of Cristiani as well, so um, yeah, Cristiani. Yeah. yeah, and then Van, van Veenendaal on the goal because yeah, that's 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 the that's orange. A, that's yeah. that's a decent team. It's a but decent. I still think I'm gonna my team gonna whoop your ass. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, and is there okay? So, what team do you support? Because uh, is there any men's team that you're like, oh yeah, that's that's my team? Yeah, definitely. I think since I was a kid, I've always been a Real Madrid fan. I think now <laughs> half of people watching are like, oh hell no, because you know Ronaldo, Figo, like all the big players, Zidane. Like, I think that's where I start like watching them, and I used to love them, you know. And um, so yeah, huge, huge Real fan. I think. I don't know. Always, I've I've watched him once live in Santiago Bernabeu. Wow! And yeah. Yeah. I need to go back when I have time. Um, they are amazing. Yeah. I think. Uh, no, they they are amazing. I um I am a Barcelona fan, so that's why I'm not really. I, I knew it. I knew. No. We should watch an El Clasico together next time. That, yes, we should. Let's we go. Should. Let's go. Seriously, we should go. And then no, I hope definitely. you guys lose. Then I'll be like. <laughs> Why? Why? Why you want to be know. like that? I don't, bro. Just I need to, you know. Like we need to have this. <laughs> no, that's what's a real. Hey, and and I don't know if you can, uh, if you. Do, but is there still a team, or maybe I don't know. Okay, what if you would have to choose between winning the World Cup or winning the Olympics? What would you choose? With Denmark, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think I wanted to win the. The World Cup, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I think on the football side, you know, World Cup has so always been so huge. Um, I know Olympic Games are like huge as well, and but I just feel football when it comes to football, World Cup is a bit bigger. Um, yeah, I don't. That's my opinion. No, I agree. Even though, even though you have to qualify to the Olympics through the World Cup, but I still think the World Cup is. I don't know. It's just the one for yeah. one sport is bigger. I, um, oh, Nadia, what are your interaction with interactions with Neymar, for instance, for instance, at Paris Saint Germain? That's a, that's a good question, that's a good maybe. Question. Really good. Yeah. Do you have interaction with the players, the male players from Paris? Th- like the, you know, the interactions that we have is when we have workshops, like media workshops and stuff we have to do, like I don't know, commercials, blah blah. blah. Uh, it's days. That's the interaction that we get with the male players. Otherwise, like, we really separate, you know, they have their own area and we have our own area. They, they play games at Parc des Princes and we play the games at uh, Parc uh, jean Juan. So it's, yeah. it's, we don't have that much, you know, interaction, um, but it's not because I'm searching it either. Like, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, whatever they, they have, we have is like the workshops. Yeah. Okay. And I see another one, like, what's your biggest dream? I think that's a nice one from Shiki oh, Bath. That's a good one. My biggest dream. Oh, man, I have so many. I think mm. my biggest dream. My biggest dream right now, I think, is to win the Champions League. With, yeah. With uh, oh, P- yeah. PG. I think it's more a goal than a dream because it's. I see it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that would have been. Uh, it's still. And it, yeah, I mean, that's still a possibility. I Definitely. mean, ne- Next, yeah, I, I was just thinking about this year, but no, of course, this year will be, ca- I probably will be cancelled. Uh, we don't know. That's the crazy part. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I have no idea. What's going- and I think it's the same for all the coaches and staff, you know? So, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I've got another one from Asgari Freestyle. I think, yeah, she's from, De- she is from Denmark. Um, okay. A question for both of you. How did you push through the bad days? What did motiv- What motivated you to get out of, bad when you felt everything was well probably bad how do you get good. motivated good question that was gary freestyle she's a freestyler Ooh. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. representing mm, how do i motivate myself uh you know i think my motivation is always that 
you know, I'm trying to push myself to be the best version, you know, and I want to be on the field. I want to be someone who changed games. That's my motivation. I think I don't need any more. Like, you know, I don't want to be in that position where I'm playing, but I don't really matter. Uh, that's That probably is going to be, like, really, really hard for me. So, you know, I think that's my motivation. How do you do it? Like, you... Yeah, I, I think, for example, now with this coronavirus, um, I did have some setbacks within projects. Uh, I was supposed to start a project in Sudan at the end of May, and then it's being postponed, but it also could be cancelled because, of course, money that was first, um, yeah, for the project might be uh, needed as a corona uh, fighting against the corona. So, which is totally makes sense to, you know, that to, to put the money in there instead of in a project that I was supposed to do. But that's a setback. And to motivate myself, I think I always, and this is something that I learned from my father, is that I always focus on the, um, yeah, how do I say this? The things that I can, that I can still have um, uh, a positive feeling uh, on in, in my life so or the, the positive experience that experiences that I had so for example um, I might not be able to do a project in Sudan this year but I've been to Sudan in November and I've met so many beautiful people over there and I focus on I did get that experience and that gives me uh, a good feeling and that gives me the feeling that okay you know it's a new day um, it's a new day full of new experiences so I want to I want to um, experience that new day. So, and to be honest, I don't really have a lot of motivational problems as well, because if you do everything that's connected to your heart and your passion, mm. every day is like, let's get it, let's go. So, and of course I have some of my setbacks, but it doesn't, um, never takes a long time because I'm happy with, with the things that I get to do. So, yeah. That makes sense. Think, makes on, sense. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Um, okay, one more question and then I think we're going to wrap it up because we've got two more minutes and we don't want to make it too long because then people will be like, yo, these people talk too much. Yeah. Um, so somebody said, would you join the Real Madrid ladies team since you are a big Real Madrid fan? That's a hard question. Right now I'm really enjoying uh, PG. I love the club. I love the staff. Uh, but in the future, maybe, who knows? Uh, but right now, um, I really love where I am, you know? And um, it's a yeah. great team and it's, yeah. I think that's what, and that's the honest answer. Um, yeah. So. Cool. Hey, and um, what, last question, my last question is, what is the first thing you're going to do when we get out of quarantine? First thing, first thing. I'm a realist. I don't know. First thing, let me see. I just lost. Out, I don't like. Mm, first thing, mm. I'm gonna go on some fancy restaurant. Yes. I need to go out, like have like you know, like a restaurant, and then I'm gonna go to cinemas. I love yep. going to the movies. That too, you know, like, and then I'm gonna go shopping. That's the thing. Yes. <laughs> All of them in that order. Great. Yeah. Okay, cool. I want to be there. Yeah. What are you sure going to be doing? First thing. You're going to cool. come to Paris. For sure. No, definitely. We will see each other very soon in Paris. Um, thank you so much, Nadia, for, for doing this and for finally getting, give your, give your fans, your following the opportunity to see you live on Instagram. I should do this one of the times. Yeah, you should. I'll be you like, should. yo, what's up? I'm going to do it another time. And you know you you know you could do this. I mean, you you did the the the, the beyond sports stuff, and you know you, know, oh, girl. you got this. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool, bro. Cool. Thank you. Talking to you and, like a uh, ding. Yeah, like a ding. Uh, have a good evening, and uh, everybody who's who's been watching, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We love you. I love you. We love you. Pleasure have a good code. evening. Cool. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Ciao. Love. Bye bye.